Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are in the lab made by Chaos and we're gonna be trying to turn the game into Dark Souls using some mods that add in vanities, some Dark Soul weapons, and also some other features we're gonna check out. But let's go ahead, let's head to the area where we will be testing this. We're gonna be taking the portal network here and then we are going, oh, it's already set up, to space, boom. Let me uh, turn up the brightness a bit here. I'm not using Heroes mod, I completely forgot to use it. Hey, speak about Hero, we released a Terraria video like the other day. So we got some people coming back for 1.4. Hopefully we see Yurimir. Love that guy. He made very interesting content. But yeah, we have a couple of mods gathered here today. And let's just straight up start with this first chest right here, which contains a good bit of vanity from Dark Souls. Let's start with the Thorium stuff. There may be stuff that I don't know from mods. That usually happens with every video. We got the Thorium stuff right here. The Abyssal Walker set. So I believe this is Artorius' set, right? I'm actually not sure. My, my Dark Dark Souls lore is a little uh is a little bit not up to date so I may I may not know some things or I'll say things wrong you know how it is it's not a gamer's video if I'm not doing something wrong and we got this here it's just a vanity I think most of these are just vanities but it looks great it's from thorium thorium always has great sprites but moving on to the next piece from thorium that I know of and that is proof of Averici, Averice, whatever. It's pretty much the mimic head you can get. Very nice, and it also actually is armor. It gives you nine defense. One should be aware of his inner greed. All attacks make enemies drop more gold. Hitting enemies will drop extra coins. Damage taking is increased. There's some similarities there to Dark Souls. I think you just kind of take damage over time, but enemies have a higher drop rate when you kill them wearing this, something like that. Moving on to the next mod here. We got the split mod stuff. Let's go ahead and take a good bit here. And let's start with the moon prince stuff now i do not remember his name whatsoever it's the pathetic dude damn what's his name just want to insert here that i think the vanity exactly in this is from dark souls 3 and it's aldrich but it's also pretty much gwendolyn because aldrich is inside gwendolyn i don't know some freaky shit like that is it gwyn gwyneth guinevere gwendolyn there's a lot of gwyns in there one of those is right i think uh gwendol gwenethy one of those has to be right i think this is his fit he's the dude you find in the hallway something like that but but there you go there's that this is actually really good looking the split mod another mod of great sprites and it's pretty dope seeing this set in game i don't know if this is a direct reference to the dark souls games or just souls games in general uh i think there's also a a bell helmet in bloodborne i'm not i'm not sure about that that's one of the games i haven't played yet that in Sekiro or Sekiro. I have not played them all the way through. I haven't even played Bloodborne at all. But I know there's also a, a bell helmet in Dark Souls 2 in the DLC, I believe. Boom! Beautiful. Imagine if you get hit in the head, that shit is gonna be loud as hell. That you would take more damage. But this is isn't this another armor? Nine defense immobilizes all nearby enemies while taking damage. Nice. And of course, last but not least, everyone's favorite mask of the father. Yes, sir. Who doesn't love this? This this is great. Is this does this have anything? No, this is just a vanity. The legend will never die. You are not wrong. This is probably the best vanity in the split mod. I do kind of wish they had all the other masks. Maybe they do. Let me look real quick. All right, let's move on to some accessories and weapons here. We got the Zweihander. Who doesn't love the Zweihander? This is a great weapon, great heavy weapon, great two-handed weapon, whatever the hell they're called. I feel like I've only used the Zweihander, like, actually, I've used the Zweihander a good bit, but I don't know. I'm not really a heavy weapons or big weapon playthrough person in Dark Souls, but it does 30 melee damage, 30 base melee damage. I hope I don't have anything affecting the stats. And at least you didn't steal it from the cemetery. They don't know that, but it, sa it says it's a material. What is it a material for? The Extirpator. It does less damage. I don't know if this is a Dark Souls weapon. It does less damage. Next up, we got tear stone rings. We got the blue tear stone ring. Greatly increases defense when health is low. Do we see it when we equip it? Nope, not at all. Purple tear stone ring. Greatly increases damage in defense and defense when health is low. And red tear stone ring. Greatly increases damage when health is low. So none of these you see. Kind of upsetting because I I wanted to see a little, little like a red dot on my hand, but it's all good. But there you go. That was the thorium and split mod. I probably forgot some stuff or just didn't see it straight up. Whatever. It's all good. But moving on to our next set of items items here from the dark souls vanity mod how how fitting that that mod came out somewhat recently i think it came out somewhat recently because i just started seeing it in the mod browser recently but let's go ahead let's put on our first set here the wolf knight armor now is this another this is another artorius armor which is a very very nice I kind of wish there was a, a Sif pet or something, summon. It'd be nice to have a giant wolf with the sword. And I'm not talking about Zacian or Zamazenta, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, this these, these are just straight up vanities. No armor. Um, They do have a little description on them. All of you forgive me for I have availed you nothing. Is that... 
I've never used that word before. We got the next set here, the Fire Link set, which I believe is from the final boss in Dark Souls 3, or what the final boss in Dark Souls 3 wears. It exists as a symbol of the Great Lords and the noble act of linking the fire, though it is no more than an empty husk. This set looks cool. I never really understood what the uh, final boss of Dark Souls 3 even looked like, so cool enough, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, now we got the Slave Knight armor. Who doesn't love Slave Knight Gale? That's the boy right there until you have to beat his ass. But uh, it says, hand it over that thing your dark soul are these all quotes from the game or you know descriptions of items in the game i have no idea this one looks cool because he kind of looks like a gnome i always like how slave night gale looked next up an even better set here the deserter set and the thrall hood this is amazing i love these little dudes running around you know these dudes i did a permadeath playthrough once and these dudes they ended it so shout out to them. Yo, what is the description here? Do these have separate descriptions? Oh, they do have separate descriptions. Okay. This musty rusted hunk of metal befits one reduced to thievery. I'm the bomb and I'm about to blow up. Is that really what it says when you put on a thrall hood? Next up, we have the rock himself. And I'm not talking about Dwayne. I'm talking about Havel. Now we are going to see multiple Havel sets. This one and the one from the juice mod that I've shown in another video before. But the description says a car from solid rock. It's tremendous weight is matched only by the defense it provides this does not make us slow at all well i don't know maybe it doesn't and i'm just not feeling it but uh very very nice looking all these armor sets are really nice looking they don't have that terraria feel but they do got that nitty gritty dark souls feel boom next set right here katarina armor who doesn't love the onion bros you know we got Siegward, we got Siegmeyer, whatever the hell their names are something like that and this, who, this set just looks amazing I love it. It portrays exactly what the Onion Knights are. Gigantic. And they look like an onion. They're not lying there. The description says, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do really after a nice toast. No kidding. I could go for a nap right now. And the final set from this mod. And this mod does update a lot, I think. Because I've had to update it a couple times since I downloaded it. And that is the Knight of Solaire himself. Armor of the Sun. Boots of the Sun. Helmet of the Sun. What's the description say? If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Of course course Solaire can we can we get a salute the sun or praise the sun no okay well it's terrific I don't know what I expected all right moving on to our next chest here which is filled with juice mod stuff look at this the juice mod has a good bit of dark souls item items because juiced you know he's a he's a dark souls fan I always see him playing dark souls on my friends list and they're fun games so I can understand why it's like me with fallout except for I don't really play fallout that often but I love this series actually I played a good bit at least at least like three or four playthroughs a year yeah let's go ahead let's put on his great shield too uh but first let's look at the armor because this is actual armor we got the set bonus here i'll go over the stats real quick you can just pause the video look at the stats on each piece but the set bonus says press the armor ability key to reduce damage taken at the cost of mobility let me go ahead and set a key for that okay i set it to g but before i hit that let's look at the dragon tooth increases defense by 10 while held hold the attack to charge a swing unleash a charge swing while falling to do a plunging attack nice and then we got his great shield that reduces movement speed by 10%. Right click to block attacks in front of you. Blocking attack reduces its damage by 80%. Left click while blocking the shield bash. So this is a separate weapon? Is it a separate weapon or not? But look at this. This is amazing. This is as havel as you can get here. And ready for this? It may not be a fat roll, but it is a roll. Look at that. We have the other mod made by Juice, the Crouch and Roll mod. Yeah, we have that mod installed too. So how, how does it work with the shield? So I can block with the shield. Oh, so if I'm holding down right click with the shield, even if I do have a weapon equipped, I can, I turn blue and then I can do my little shield bash right there. And I let go of right click and then we can just go back to using our regular weapon here. So what was the other thing? Okay, so we press the armor thing here. Oh, look at that. Just like that spell or the ability in game that turns you into a rock, you know, you get the little effect on you and stone flesh that's what it's called there you go so we take a lot less damage we move really slow honestly it's not even that slow it's probably because i have these on but let's see the plunging attack here with the dragon tooth it was like that oh there it goes that the plunging attack nice oh and there's a little effect after all right let's test this on some enemies we got to test this on some enemies hey, where are you going <laughs> boom that boy just got slaughtered. Drop some zombies like this and then boom, hit him with the plunging attack. Oh my God. And then let me see the uh, shield bash here. See how good this is. God damn, they jumping high. Hit him with the shield bash. Oh, that killed all of them. It must do decent damage, but there you go. There's the Havel set from the juice mod, a great set. Very, very similar to how it is in Dark Souls. 
weapon included in the dragon's tooth which is just a dope weapon but now we're moving on to the other weapons here and that is the soul great sword homing soul mass soul spear and focus souls and also soul arrows as the ammo if any of these need the ammo and uh, actually i should put on an armor set here let me get on like uh let me get on solaire's armor and hit him with a nice little roll that's not a roll what the fuck did I just do? All right, let's check out these weapons here. Soul Great Sword attacks with a mighty great sword formed from souls. Let's go ahead. Let's summon in some enemies here to test this out on these zombies always trying to run away. So this is another sword that sort of charges back. I do like that a lot. Uh, in some cases, in other cases, I like to just swing the weapon but uh you know it's fitting for dark souls i guess moving on next to the homing soul mass summons homing soul mass to stay above you before seeking enemies right click to target an enemy boom we go like that and it kind of just you know blasts somebody I, I don't even have a choice sometimes but you can target it and it does home in on it next up we got the soul spear which does throwing and magic damage very very nice uh this one did summoning and ma summon in magic damage the great sword did melee and magic damage and then the focus soul is just as magic the soul arrows also do ranged in magic but yeah let's see the soul spear here uh summoning some enemies of course oh my god beautiful just like in game boom just ripping through all of them and next up we got focus souls test this out on some more enemies here i don't know how this one works oh that's how that one works okay i don't think i've ever done a mage playthrough in any dark souls games so i'm not too familiar with the spells i just know that one giant laser spell in dark souls 3 but uh, this one is pretty nice look at that it's giving me some moon lord vibes too so this also goes through blocks this the soul spirit goes through blocks do any of these other ones go through blocks probably not but yeah that should be all the dark souls references that i know of like i said i probably did miss some but you get these mods you get the crouch and roll mod made by juice and bro you're gonna be boom you'll be rolling on them while fighting we get a boss up in this you know calamity mod kind of has some uh dark souls vibes to it is uh calamity mod got those edgy sprites let me get my boy crabulon in here him that boy edgy roll through him hit him with a boom fucking soul spear him oh watch the roll give me them iframes i'm gonna hit him with the lasers god damn rest in peace that speed run world record time right there but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i think these dark souls mods are really cool i really like the vanities the vanities are great from a bunch of these mods there was an other two dark souls mods that i have installed but they seem very low effort in terms of spriting quality and a bunch of stuff but as you can see here they do have some stuff crucifix of the mad king they got demon scar like it's okay it's just i guess is what, what would you expect i don't know it's just compared to like the weapons from the juice mod it's like i don't think anything else can compare we got like lothric knight sword is just a sword we got the parian dagger it's just a faster sword it's not like special abilities on it or anything and then you have this other dark souls mod like look at this what am i looking at here you got the black knight shields plus three and stuff and there's like a whole paragraph to read and then we got black knight helmets like these don't look too good these look like straight up just resprites of other armors but you do have like twinkling titan knight other twinkling titan knight oh this is a shark twinkling titan knight we got the titan knight slab like there's a couple cool things in here but oh here we go we got the dragon's tooth that legit just looks like a picture of the dragon's tooth rather than a sprite like this yeah you, you can see why i didn't really want to go over them they had a lot of weapons and um i didn't really want to go over all of them because you know we, we got some better ones in the juice mod and other mods but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time